How's it going, Chris from Blu-ray Critic? And on today's update, I'll be taking a look at the funny comedy film Central Intelligence starring Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson. So if you're already familiar with uh, Kevin Hart's brand of humor, it's basically more of the same. And instead of getting Ice Cube as a sidekick, we get uh, Dwayne Johnson this time around. And uh, surprisingly, the chemistry between the two works pretty well. Overall, the story in itself is funny. Definitely worth uh, taking a look at. And uh, we see them in high school at the beginning of the film, which is uh, really hysterical. And then we see them at present times where it's getting closer to their high school reunion. And um, they haven't seen each other in such a long time. So one day, uh, Kevin Hart's character, uh, he's on Facebook, in which he receives this uh, message from this guy named Bob Stone. And uh, Bob Stone is a codename for uh, Dwayne Johnson's uh, character. And uh, they decide to meet up because they haven't seen each other in such a long time. And uh, Kevin Hart gets uh, mixed in with all the crazy shenanigans that uh, Bob Stone is going through. He's wanted by the CIA for murder, for espionage, all these crazy situations. But uh, yeah, man, pretty funny movie. And it contains a few special features for this uh, Blu-ray release, so uh, let's take a closer look. So you get two versions of the movie. You get the theatrical cut as well as the unrated edition. Uh, the theatrical has a runtime of 107 minutes, and the unrated clocks in at 116 minutes. And as far as uh, other special features, you get the commentary track with Ross and Marshall Thurber, as well as Mike Sell for both versions of the movie. You also get alternate scenes for both cuts of the film, plus uh, Lionel Rama, Dance Off, Couch Time Lapse, and also the Gag Rail. So yeah, quite a few special features to keep you busy. And the aspect ratio for this film is presented in the 2.41 format. And as far as picture and audio quality, I'm going to rate the image a 4 out of a 5, and I'm going to give the audio mix a 4.5 out of a 5. The image itself has a soft look. The black levels look okay, it could have been better, but uh, yeah, nothing really pops, only certain scenes. It's just a pretty flat looking image overall, but uh, the audio mix is pretty solid. It's a DTS 5.1 mix, and unfortunately with this release, you don't get a DVD copy and you don't get a slipcover, but you do get the uh, the digital code, which is on the other side of this uh, paper, but uh, yeah, it comes in the eco case. But it's definitely worth taking a look at. You know, It's just a pretty solid comedy film, and like I said, the chemistry between them works pretty well. And uh, they're currently uh, working on a film called uh, Jumanji, a re remake of Jumanji, starring uh, these two. So that should be pretty funny. I think it's going to come out sometime next year. So, so that's my review of uh, Central Intelligence. Thanks for taking a look, and I'll see you guys soon in my next review. Take care.